Security is noticeably tighter around some Olympic venues Tuesday. Journalists arriving at the main press center were greeted by armored personnel carriers at the front doors. Police with semi-automatic weapons were also spotted at the gates to the athletes' village. The Olympic organizers insist security is no tighter in Beijing than it has been at past Olympics. It's meant to, uh, to be protective, uh, to safeguard the security and the safety of all the, of the, all the athletes and everybody. Some international visitors are now complaining that Beijing Olympic organizers aren't striking the right balance between security and access for sports fans. Some things you can control and they haven't been able to manage the balance between security and creating that atmosphere. People who have attended previous Olympics say there's less of a fan-friendly atmosphere here than there was in Athens or in Sydney during the Games. Perhaps that's because ordinary Chinese can't get anywhere near the Olympic green. Accessing the Olympic area costs $7. That's pretty pricey in a country where the average wage is less than $10 a day. This man says he gave his only ticket to his son. Olympic organizers say they're working to get more people inside the secure area. From yesterday, uh, they saw that there are not many people inside, and uh, so uh, we are going to encourage more people to come over to the Olympic Green. On Monday, only 40,000 people visited the Olympic Green, compared with the 100,000 estimated by Olympic organizers. Jason Brown is the Associated Press, Beijing.